Ubiquiti released another cloud gateway without Wi-Fi, but at about $130, it's more powerful than the Unify Express and the Dream Router. And you guessed it, it's called the Cloud Gateway Ultra. I'll show you its features, we'll unbox it, set it up both on the web and we can do it through the app. And I'll help you decide if this is the right Unify device for you. My name is Bogdan Chaperny, founder of Apex One Tech. All my content is free to you. All I ask is that you subscribe and smash the like button. Okay, so we got this newsletter from Ubiquity about its new Ultra lineup. Well, we had the Army Swiss Knife, this UK Ultra already, but recently they just added the UCG, so the Cloud Gateway Ultra that we're discussing here, and the Switch Ultra, uh, which I have another video on that if you want to check that out, but these kind of nicely paired together. And as you can see, the way they market it, well, here they're showing how it's kind of a replacement or it's, or it's both a gateway and a cloud key, and that's your Cloud Gateway Ultra. It's just missing the built-in Wi-Fi. Not missing, it just depends on what you need. So UCG Ultra right here has a couple of ports and we'll talk about that, but just to see what they're, you know, what they're marketing here. Unify Ultra example deployment, and they have it here with the Swiss Army Knife. So these are all Wi-Fi 5 access points connected to the PoE switch and to the UCG Ultra. So it's really marketed as like a powerful device in some sense has full specs, at least for networking, but it's a much more affordable price. Like I said, starting at, well, it is about $130 USD. And it's a little bit higher than the UX, the Express, and the UDR, the Dream Router, in terms of its networking performance. But we'll talk at the end if this is the right one for you to get. This is not the only way to deploy this gateway. And before we unbox it, let's just take a look at some of its features. So this is the gateway itself, right? It has, as we'll see, well, it's showing you there that's the cloud key and the gateway together. It has the 2.5 gigabit ports, WAN ports, and four LAN ports. So quickly here, we can see, obviously, it's perfect for site magic. That unifies site-to-site -site VPN that's super simple to set up. And it kind of shows you everything here. So it has kind of almost all the features. One of the powerful things is that you can dedicate one of the LAN ports as a secondary WAN, and that's not even counting the LTE backup that you can have, right? So the rest of these four are gigabit LAN ports and just power the USB-C. It has the same LCM display actually as this Express as well, right? This is their all-in-one with Wi-Fi, definitely not as powerful as the gateway. So, and this is showing just again, another deployment here. You have the gateway that we're talking about, the switch, LTE backup, a Swiss Army knife there for your access points. And so it does have a 2.5, but when you turn off all the full suspicious activity options, so it has all of them, which is the 35, a little bit more or more than the UDR. But when you turn all that on, it throws you down to one gigabit, which again is for mostly everyone is plenty. And you can manage 300 plus clients and then no problem and 30 unified devices. I guess they say 30 plus kind of depends on which ones you add, but that's more than plenty for most of you. So multi-WAN, like we discussed, and full network, of course, USB powered. It has Bluetooth built in, and that's just basically for setting up with the app. So very easy to do that. So let's unbox it next. Okay, so here we have the Cloud Gateway Ultra packaging. Just tells you that right there. And of course, it's uh, the UCG Ultra. Okay, so here we have a tab here. A little tougher to open than the other ones they made. All right, so this just pops open. And they always have installation instructions, which are more like graphic, kind of no text. All right, there we go. Pretty good size here and weight. Obviously, definitely larger than the Express. Express is maybe just that size. This one's, so it's five and a half inches in length. It's a little bit shorter this way, five inches and about an inch and a quarter in the height. Nice packaging. It is a little hefty. I mean, it's only, it's about, it's 1.1 pounds, exactly. And we have that same LCM display that like the UX has, for example, and just says there that's the Cloud Gateway Ultra. And the back, of course, have the resets. We have the USB-C for power. So these are the four LAN ports and WAN right there. It does say 2.5 here, but when you turn on everything suspicious activity all the way, it's only one gigabit. So definitely tough, feels very good in the hand. 
And right here we just have the usual tiny little manual and stuff like that. A little separation. So they do include about maybe a foot, a little over that. They're a little nice flexible ethernet cable. Okay, so most likely from your modem, you'll plug it into the WAN jack. And then the USB-C, whoops, power adapter. And it is a five volt, three amp, but the gateway only draws 6.2 watts max. So I unraveled this and it's actually, yeah, six and a half feet, okay, and two hands. So you can mount this pretty far from your power source. And the last thing here you don't want to miss is these little rubber feet. So I think we can just peel them off. Yeah. Probably stick them on the bottom here. So we gotta kind of finish uh, the manufacturing here on our own. Yeah, so these are definitely not cut out that well, but if you set this on some kind of, you know, sensitive table, you might wanna put these on. Yeah, it's nice rubber. The first thing you want to do is grab, plug in, of course, your power adapter into the wall, the USB-C into the back here. Okay, so that flash is green. We got the logo. That'll probably take a minute to boot up. So let's grab the ethernet cable from your modem. And then back here into the WAN port. Okay, so we do have a progress bar here. I do know there's a little bit off level here, not horizontal as you can see. Okay, this is probably one of their first units. So it's slightly misaligned, but you see that progress bar, so we're gonna wait a minute and then we'll probably add it from our phone or iPad. Okay, it took about a minute or two and actually tells you that it's ready for setup or it tells you, hey, download the app, right? You can set up that way and it should give you also an IP address. Yeah, there we go, or web setup. For this demo, I'm going to continue on the iPad to set it up with the Unify app, but you can go ahead and grab the IP address that the that LCM display shows you and just type it into your browser just as you see it. And you should be able to set up straight from the browser if you want to do that. You just want to connect your computer, MacBook, straight from one of the LAN ports with the Ethernet cable to the UCG Ultra. Otherwise, I get the Unify app that works on your mobile, Android as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's... Open the app. Okay, so it's finding my last gateway and we're going to give it a minute. So you do need to be standing next to your gateway. There it is, it uses uh, Bluetooth. So you see my Wi-Fi is actually off. So there it is and it's ready to set up. I just need to tap on it. It's connecting to it, should be pretty quick. Okay, so it's ready to go. Then just click next. So we're just doing a speed test, interesting. <laughs> That's fine, so we paid for 200, it's looking like it got 375. Uh, good for Xfinity there. That's almost twice as fast, wow. All right, so I guess just for your info, <laughs> to let you know that your one gig will be okay, so just click next, and it's showing you, so after this, uh, we will go to unify.ui.com to set this up. Okay, so never mind. one thing, I guess it does want to do a firmware update, so we'll, we'll let that process happen. Okay, so it's done. Okay, so there's the Cloud Gateway Ultra, so we'll just connect to it. And it looks like it's having trouble. Okay, so at this point, it's probably better to continue on the browser, or you want to make sure you already have an access point attached to it. I think on your mobile, it will work better if you're actually attached to the internet, to your data. So we'll try that out. Okay, so I did connect to my iPhone, and we'll try to reconnect here. So let's just try again. Okay, there we go. So we found it, and I... I did already plug in a switch and an access point. Okay. So if you go to the devices at the bottom right, the second tab there, and you see I do have already the Ultra PoE switch in here. Uh, saying tap to resolve because I already previously adopted it to the UX, the Express. But we can actually tap to resolve and it'll, it'll reconnect you here. So I'm just going to tap reassign to console. Otherwise, you know, you can plug in your devices, your switch, your access points, and just adopt it as usual. All right, so I'll do that to my access point as well. I'll probably need to reset it, and then we'll continue in the browser. Okay, so I had this running for a little bit. I have the access point switch set up with it, and we can go to, so maybe some things you want to look at, right? Some of its features, we'll probably want to turn on suspicious activity. So let's go, then click on internet, 
And you see, so this is our primary WAN. And we could, the secondary one, you could designate the fourth LAN ports as a WAN. Okay, so failover. So basically, if your primary one goes out, it's going to go over to your fourth one. And there's some other advanced things that you can do, distribute, and you can even, you know, say where the traffic is going, things like that. Uh, but that's kind of beyond this video. So the, the other thing just wanted to show you, you can also, so I'll actually disable this. And let's go ahead and look at the suspicious activity. So here under security, so same thing, settings, security. And you'll notice, so you can, you can just go to auto, and it has all your other firewall settings here as well. Auto, it just does its own thing. You can go to advanced and then here, okay, so you can select if you have other networks, we won't get into that. You can select how it's filtering. So in detection sensitivity, you know, low, medium, high, or just click on customize. And now, as you see, by default, I guess on medium, it has 17 out of 35 selected. And in comparison, the Dream Router, for example, has, uh, I believe, just 11 of the 35. In the UX, the Express has none. Okay, so that, that's the difference. So this has all the options. You can select all of these, and you should still get one gigabit, which, like in my case, when I get 200, that's no problem. So let's, you know, you could you could select all of them, and I just want to show you that, or just use their built-in kind of easy settings here, okay? So I guess low, the six and the medium is 17 of them, and the high is most likely all of them, yeah. Okay, so I won't click Save Now, but that's what you can do. And that's kind of the main main differences there with the UDR. And of course you have your VPN settings here that you can set up site to site VPN. So it's kind of a, a manual way. But as you know, if you have this is especially great for business organization, if you have a second site, the easiest way is actually to get another Unify cloud gateway and go over to your site manager. And then here you can actually do site magic, which is the same thing as that site to site VPN. It just unifies thing and makes it super easy. You can select, you know, wh which device you want to combine. So this one's offline. But for example, y you have to be the admin in both of these accounts or the owner actually, and then you can uh, add them together and you can have a seamless VPN connection. And finally, is this Ultra the cloud gateway for you? So it's starting at one thirty, which is one of the most inexpensive, and you can see it's already it's already sold out. Uh, it was actually hard to get a hold of this. So. It is going quite popular, just like the Dream Router. And it, this could be a good device for you if, I would say, maybe two things. If the Unify Express doesn't work for you and the Dream Router. So let's maybe cover that. And even back up one step. So before this, you could you could have bought in the Gateway Lite. So that's not a cloud gateway, but Gateway Lite, uh, about the same price, UXG Lite. Now there's kind of no point, right? Well, at least if you want the full Unify experience, uh, you want the cloud, right? This combines like the cloud key they had with the gateway, like the UXG Lite. And now for $130, I mean, this this is a device to get if you want to go that route. But if we compare, so we can go here to gateways on the UI at UI.com. And, and I'll have this linked for you so you can just find this right away. And it gives you, it has a good little comparison table here. So. The Unify Express, right, they just released this a couple of months ago. Overall, it's really like consumer, it's, it's your most entry level, easiest to set up, Wi-Fi is built in, you just need that one device, everything works. If you're in a home business under 1250 square feet, that works for you, okay? If you don't need that suspicious activity detection, you know, you're okay with the limitation of four additional Unified devices, meaning like a PoE switch from them or another access point, like the smart power strip, right? Those all count against those four. So just keep that in mind. And most likely you're you're fine with this one gigabit th throughput as well. And remember that the Unify Express is starting at $150. However, again, Wi-Fi 6 is built in. So one thing to consider though is that maybe if for some homes, larger homes, this will not cover it. Uh, just the coverage will not do. So you could have a router already, a Wi-Fi router combo, and you could get the Cloud Gateway Ultra as a Unify controller and router, and then repurpose your existing Wi-Fi router as the access point. Okay, maybe you have a Wi-Fi router that covers like 2,000 square feet and that's great for your house. So you can totally do that here. Now, you won't be able to control your Wi-Fi access points if you're going with another brand like Netgear, but you'll get great coverage. And now it's at lower cost, right? This is a 130 and you get more benefits here, such as the suspicious activity detection, the multi-WAN. 
Okay, so th that is an option. Maybe I'll make a video on that on, on how to do that. Um, if I do, it'll be it'll be up on the screen right now or in the description. Okay, so now the next level up, if the UX, the Express is not good enough for you, the UDR here, the Dream Router. This is a great option. Again, it has four ports on the back as well and two PoE ports, which the Ultra does not have because it's also designed to be like a small NVR. And unfortunately, in reality, you can only run like one or two 4K Unify Protect cameras on here, okay? This, you know, this won't work for your other cameras. This is just for Unify Protect. Uh, and there's actually a calculator, which here, when you click on this, I just wanted to show you. So if you go to the store and you, and you search for the cloud gateways, and this is the Wi-Fi integrated ones, what they will have here is a capacity calculator. So as the way with the comms, it has some built-in, you know, network is running on it. You cannot protect. And with the built-in, it has, I believe, yeah, 120 gigabyte SSD. And then you can, you can increase it with a SD or micro SD card only. Okay, so something to keep in mind, but as it is, you know, you can only add one 4K camera. You can add more, a bunch of HD, well, four HD cameras. Uh, but if, if you're going with, with a more powerful camera, it's only one. It's, it's really maybe if you're just like washing your front door and that's all that you need from your NVR. Otherwise, it's, it's not really an NVR and you want something like the CloudKey Plus, and that will run you 100 plus, I forget, it's like 150 or more uh, to get that. But you could add that in if you need to. And you should know here that once you, this is the IDS IPS, that's that suspicious activity. So once you turn that all on, your throughput here goes down to 300 megabits per second. So if your internet is faster than that, uh, you might not want to get the Dream Router. If you want to use that functionality, then you need the Ultra. And in terms of unified devices, you know, 20 plus, that's probably more than enough. 150 client devices is also great. Even the Express, by the way, at 60. That's plenty, that's like twice as much as most consumer Wi-Fi combo routers you'll see out there. They're usually happy at 30. So I have, I've, I've tested this one, I have no problem. I have like, yeah, 45 uh, devices attached to it. So now finally, right, if the Dream Router just doesn't cut it for you, <laughs> basically too slow, or maybe you can't have Wi-Fi built in, maybe where you have your modem and your router situated, you just can't have your Wi-Fi access point there or you need it somewhere else, then the Dream Router is not for you, right? If you need that, there are little flying saucers up on the ceiling, then the Ultra is the way to go. So you set up the Ultra at about $130. You get great throughput here, plenty of devices. You can add a PoE switch, easily add their access points. You can add the long range access point, which is like uh, 2,000 square feet, I want to say. So obviously it costs you more, but especially I would say if you're a, let's maybe sum this up in reverse order. Or maybe mention one more. So there's the Dream Machine Pro, which is like the cloud cloud gateway on steroids. Okay, so this is really more real pro level. That's why it's called Pro. So it can run all the applications from Unify, including Voice over IP, right? Protect access, but you know it costs a lot more. This is like I believe this one. They don't have the price here, but it's at 380. It also has you know one one storage rack built in for your hard drive for MVR. So this is much more professional. If you want to go that route, you could do this. You'll need more devices though. So in a more simple solution, the Cloud Gateway Ultra, especially if you want that more protection, suspicious activity protection, and you, you want kind of freedom with your access points, then probably like for a small business, even mid-sized business, this can handle, right? Mid-sized business, even with multiple locations, you don't have to get the Dream Machine. You can go with the Cloud Gateway Ultra, and that will most likely work for you without a problem. Add plenty of devices, do site-to-site -site, um, or site magic that Unify has, site-to-site -site VPN. So that's awesome. If I would say now going down, Dream Router, again, if you don't need that suspicious activity, you need more throughput, but uh, I believe it's 1,500 square feet coverage with this Wi-Fi integrated in there. If that works for you, like for my home, Dream Router is perfect. I get coverage outside, everything. So that one's great for me. Otherwise, if you're in a smaller space or you just you know, have a studio or something like that or a very small office and you don't need that suspicious activity, the Express is good for you. I'll have all these products linked in the video description below straight to the Ubiquity store, Unify. And if they're available on Amazon, because sometimes they're always out of stock on UI.com. But if they're available, I'll have that linked in the video description as well. That's so you can support this channel. And if you found this video helpful, you learned something new, then please subscribe and hit the like button. If you need any help setting up, 
designing the, your networking Wi-Fi system, connecting maybe multiple of your business sites, please reach out using the contact links below or even just shoot me a comment and I'll respond. We can get in touch. Thanks for watching. Take care.